Well, happy Monday. This week I decided I'm gonna film a little week in my life in Barcelona. So Monday morning, I went to the gym and then now I'm headed off to have some coffee and meet another creator just to get some more motivation for content, YouTube, TikTok, all of it, because sometimes it's easy to get yourself in a rut. So I'm excited just to meet and kind of help just motivate each other and kind of learn a bit as well. But headed off to a cute little coffee shop in Gatico and then I'm gonna work and yeah, I'll take you along this nice little week of my life in Barcelona. Now walking home from my little meetup with my friend who's also wanting to get into YouTube. So it was a really fun time just like meeting up, putting our goals down and holding each other accountable for it. So I'm gonna be monetized in the next couple months. I am putting that down here for this video as well. But now just walking home through my cute little neighborhood of San Antonio. I absolutely love where I live. It's like a little more locally, but still super close to everything. And there's loads of bars and restaurants. So it's actually quite a young little neighborhood. Um, there's a lot going on and yeah, just really enjoying it. And now heading back, we've got to do some client work, got some podcast management. But yeah, let's head on home now. So tonight we are headed off to a 50 cent wings at an American little bar. I am so excited. I haven't had wings in so long, even though it's not Spanish. It's gonna be delicious, get some beer and wings. Great way to do a Monday. And we match. <laughs> Well, Wing Wednesday was freaking delicious. I missed a good American style wing and actually a really good buffalo sauce. That was a killer, like, mm. Beer and wings on a Monday, kick it better than that. Did some work when I got home, did some YouTube stuff, and now, as you can see, getting ready for bed and yeah, getting ready for tomorrow's 4th of July celebrations at the Cava winery district outside of barcelona with some friends so that's gonna be fun so time for a little snooze and yeah cabo time tomorrow well good morning it is tuesday and today's fourth of july so i am off of work because all my clients are american so no one's in the office so today i am going to the cava wine region with a few friends who are also american and also off today and we're gonna go do some cava tastings see some wineries, walk around the little cute town, and I'm really, really excited, but I am running massively late and I still haven't finished my makeup, so I'm gonna finish that up and then let's go get on the train and head to the wineries. I'm so freaking excited. Well, first winery down, we had two glasses of wine, nice, normal, original, not original, but most common. Spanish cava was delicious, and a little rosé wine. You know, just start the day, and now we're off to the next winery. Gonna have a nice little day hopping, which was funnier, but let's go. They literally were the only people here. Came out a little private wine tasting. It's delicious. Each one is like minimum 18 months in the bottle, some to 47 months. And now we're in the little museum they have, but so freaking cool. And the woman who runs the place just came out and gave us a little private wine tour. So let's check it out.
third winery down. We had lunch, which actually I think was pretty terrible, actually, at one of the famous wineries. Then had some of their cava. The more expensive wine by the glass, cava by the glass, was actually pretty good. But then their original Coronu, like cava, was actually quite shit. But we enjoyed ourselves. And now, heading back into town and go to the next one. Third one down, feeling a bit tipsy. Happy yeah. Fish July. And on our way to the fourth winery, we actually stumbled across this chocolate factory. So we went in, there was so much good chocolate. So we got some to bring to the next winery for our own little cava chocolate tasting. So fourth winery, we got a little private terrace part. We keep walking in, it's not like necessarily a winery, it's more of like a manufacturer space where they sell cava and they recommend the little favorite bottles or glasses and yeah. Now we're in a cute little terrace trying some more kava. So, kava said before. Let's go. Wine tasting day complete. Took the train back to Barcelona now. It's a block away from home. And gonna have a chill, relaxing night at home. Have some wine, chill, edit some YouTube. And yeah, just have a casual night in with Harry. But Fourth of July, Cava tasting day. Definitely a 10. Well, good morning. It is a Wednesday. I had a bunch of plans today. <laughs> and they all went out the window. I was supposed to go and meet my friend to go to the gym this morning and I slept through my alarm, which I haven't done in literally like years. I completely slept through it. I think I snoozed it and then I turned it off and then I didn't make it to the gym. And then we were gonna go to Soho House and like sunbathe for a bit and co-work, but then it literally got dark skies and started raining. So both of us were like, mm, it's one of those like not leave your apartment type dates. So now I am cozied up on the couch with my laptop here and I just was editing one of my YouTube videos and I'm probably gonna be working from the couch and working from the little table over there all day and just kind of having a chill day because this week is literally a bit chaotic work, meeting friends, doing things, yesterday being off. So now I'm going to do some client work and make some lunch, but I wish I had more to show on this like Wednesday in Barcelona, but honestly, probably not going to leave my apartment today. It's just one of those days, so we'll see. Well, good morning, guys. It is Thursday. It's a beautiful sunny day today in Barcelona. Yesterday, I honestly did a whole lot of nothing. I just worked, had meetings late, and chilled the apartment, made some dinner. I was like, I need to film like my day in my life, but honestly, I was like, what am I doing today? I did literally nothing but work, chill, make food, which I still could have filmed, but it's all right. We still got a bunch of other days left in this week. Today, I'm trying to get better into my habit of getting up in the morning and doing my morning routine and my morning routine always includes reading a book right now i'm reading the 101 essays that will change the way you think it's been actually really good so far there are some essays where i'm like damn you are 100 percent right so i'm excited to read more of it i'm literally only like maybe a fifth of the way into it but one of the morning routine rituals that i used to do all the freaking time and I've recently stopped and I need to get better at and go back to into is my journaling. I used to journal every single morning and I feel like it was my time to just like get all my thoughts onto a paper, get everything out that I wanted to say and I want to get back into it and just enjoy it. So this morning I am sitting out on our balcony. We still don't have any balcony furniture. <laughs> so currently I am on the ground chilling but it is so beautiful out today. So 
gonna do this stuff. I actually have a client video rendering on my computer right now. So I was like, I can't use my computer anyway. Might as well go sit outside and do my little reading and my journaling. And then later on in probably like an hour, I think, maybe less than that. Oh shit, in like 50 minutes, which means I have to leave here in like 20 something minutes. To meet a friend from Bali and she's moving to Barcelona. So we're gonna meet up and have some coffee and she's doing some really cool things for the company and stuff. So we're gonna have some chit chat about work, about life, everything, just meet up. So I'm excited for that. And then later tonight is date night. So I'll come back, I'll do loads of work. I have so much podcasting and stuff to do and just client work. And I've been thinking about maybe making a video on um, what I actually do, because so many people ask me all the time. So maybe like a little walkthrough of what my day in life of work is and what kind of work I actually perform and do, because it might interest some people if they're looking for ways to make money online. With all that said, I have my work to do. I'm gonna get my journaling and reading done now. So, so I can head off to go meet my friend and then yeah, have a nice little Thursday. And I forgot where I wanna go for date night. Like an Asian. And I live in Spain, but I'm kind of, I have tapas and Spanish food so much. So I'm kind of feeling some like Asian or Italian with some cocktails. So we'll see. So yeah, gonna go journal now. All right, so now I'm on my way to go meet my friend for a coffee from Bali. And I am just excited to kind of reconnect with people. I think it's always fun. Plus the Bali community is quite good. But I'm definitely pushing myself out of my comfort zone more and more because funny enough, although I record loads in my house, I actually hate recording and speaking to this camera walking in Barcelona amongst all the people who just stare at you. But I'm forcing myself to do it more and more because I saw a video the other day and it was saying like, you only get out of life what you put into it. So if you want to grow YouTube, you want to, you know, get into a job, you want whatever it is your goal is, the only way to get that outcome is to put the things in you need to do. So part of that for me, is getting over the discomfort in bits even though i probably seem more comfortable than i am and just doing it but i'm away now to the coffee shop just had a full man start and you watch the whole conversation and I'm gonna meet up and then just continue meeting all the amazing people that have currently moving to barcelona because i'm telling you barcelona is becoming one of the next big digital nomad hotspots but now I'm home from meeting the girl from Bali and I made myself a little vegetarian meatball parm. I sell these really good meatballs by me. Meatball parm sandwich, a little taste of New Jersey at home. Now, I'm gonna eat this and then get to freaking work because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but now I'm gonna enjoy some delicious lunch and watch a little TV for my little lunch break before head is going down. <laughs> So guys, we went food shopping and you'll never guess what I found. Now, is it legit? Not really sure, but it tastes legit and I'm so excited. So I don't usually like go for a lot of American snacks because I don't miss many of them. But one thing I do miss, I've always had a love for pickles. People might find that disgusting, but I love freaking pickles. And so I went shopping. Your girl found Trader Joe's, don't know if it's real Trader Joe's, brand like pickles that you'd put on this picture they put on a hot dog which i find foul but you'd normally put on, like a burger in america or for me i just eat them <laughs> eat them like a normal snack but sometimes it's just like the small wins when you're like ooh, i'm feeling a bit like i miss home and then you find some pickles <laughs> and for me that's like a good summer treat and so it worked and I'm almost finished with my YouTube video for the week and I just did a client's podcast. So getting things done and then now I need to figure out where I wanna go for date night. There are so many good restaurants in Barcelona and I don't know about you guys, but I do this thing all the time where like when it's time to pick somewhere to go, I literally sit here and I'm like, I literally don't know where to go in Barcelona. I have no idea. But then when I walk around all the time, I'm like, oh, I want to go there and there and there and there. And I have all these places, but I never write them down. 
So we'll see where we end up tonight, but I'm excited for a little glass of wine, maybe a cocktail and yeah, some delicious dinner because Harry's going away for like five days again. And so we're having a little date night before he goes, but now your girl's gotta go back to work. Happy Friday, everyone. It is my favorite day of the week. Obviously, work is winding down, weekend is here. It is a beautiful day out in Barcelona. I went to the gym this morning, did a nice little workout, was doing a leg and butt one because we need to lift that for the summertime. And then afterwards came home and did my daily reading and little journaling. And now just getting ready for the day, chilling. Gonna be working all day. Might sit on my balcony and get a little bit of sun because it is a beautiful day out in Barcelona. And it's been like rainy and cloudy the past few days. So that isn't fun. And then there is a like ranch house, steakhouse place in Barcelona that on Fridays does American brisket and mac and cheese. And it's like first come first serve until they sell out. I am so excited. I love barbecue food, even if I'm from New Jersey and not from the South, but I'm really excited for some barbecue food. I feel like I've been talking about a lot of American things on here recently, and I really don't have American food often whatsoever. But you know, sometimes, sometimes you just need a little American kick. And I feel like with 4th of July just happening this past week, obviously missing a little bit of America, every once in a while that happens. And so we're gonna have some brisket and mac and cheese with my friends and Harry's gonna come. And then I think we're gonna go out for some cocktails afterwards and just have a fun night out. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll head to the beach. Now I'm gonna go sit and maybe get a little bit of sun on my balcony for a bit. I can only literally last like five minutes because the sun is so strong here. I wish I had a pool. Like the things I would do for a pool here is insane. There are not many and the only ones really are hotels and you can't just like go into the hotel pool. So that is definitely one thing I miss in the city for sure. But let's try and go work on this tan because for me, this is actually like not super tan. I usually get quite a bit dark and so we need to work on this a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and do some work, edit some YouTubes. I'm trying to like ramp up my YouTube game so I can get monetized by the fall, that's my goal. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then I'll take you guys get some brisket later with us since I am so excited, but happy Friday. So Harry's client sent him a gift and it was like American candies and these are terrible to have in the house. But look at these things. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna lay out, but it was honestly way too hot, so I decided to go to the Zara South because it's on for summer and they have such good stuff. So, heading off to Zara now. Found so much stuff at Zara and somehow didn't like any of it. My life story. So, Zara one was a fail, but. The other thing about Barcelona in Spain is obviously Zara's from here, so there are a billion Zara's. There's literally three Zara's within like a walking distance of one another. So now I'm walking through the middle of Plaza Catalunya and I'm headed off to the second Zara and also gonna look in Bershka and Pull&Bear because I need some more summery stuff. But just a beautiful day in Barcelona, except for all the freaking pigeons in Plaza Catalunya. Don't like those. Okay, so home now from shopping. I literally went to the other Zara, like I told you guys, because there's legitimately like three or four Zaras all within, I don't know, five minute walk of each other. And so I went to the other Zara and I still couldn't find anything I really liked. So I ended up just walking home because I had to get ready because we're going out to get 
the barbecue brisket tonight and went out with my friends afterwards. So I was like, you know what, screw it, I have to go. And if I can't find anything, I'm not gonna buy something to buy something. And one of the worst things about those Zara's in Barcelona, obviously Zara is Spanish, a lot of people wanna go. And when they're in the city, it's like the big store in Barcelona. So the lines are legitimately insane. And I can't begin to tell you like how crazy it is, how long you have to wait just to get like into the dressing room. And then once you wanna buy something, it's ridiculous. So it ended up being a bit of a failure, but it's okay. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna get ready for tonight. I'm really excited for some brisket and for some drinks and just have fun girls night. Although Harry's doing us for dinner because he wanted some brisket too. And then the girls are gonna go afterwards. And then head out for a fun, nice Friday night in Barcelona. Well, good morning and happy Saturday. Oh, last night that food was so freaking good. Like I just was craving some like American barbecue. The mac and cheese is kind of really bad to be honest. Harry was like, oh, this is quite good. And I'm like, this is not real mac and cheese. I'm not like creamy, like good barbecue mac and cheese. But the actual barbecue food itself was delicious. So last night I went to that, went out for some drinks afterwards and then headed home. Now, getting ready for the beach, me and Harry are gonna go have a little beach day together, We're gonna head off to Casta Fells, which is about 30 minutes outside of Barcelona. It's pretty much the beach I usually always go to just because like the Barcelona to beaches and the area down like by the city, it's so packed and so freaking crazy. So 30 minutes is pretty much the same amount of time to get that one versus Casta Fells. Go that way and it's way bigger of a beach and it is less crazy. So we're gonna go down there, have a little beach day together and chill because he's off for a week after the beach. So we're just gonna spend a little time together and get ready for the sun. So let's get ready to head to the beach because I need some freaking tan. So we made it to the beach. It's like a 30 minute train ride, but it kind of reminds me of home a bit. It's a nice big beach though. And it's good, it's getting busy for summertime. All the people, but catching the rays, getting some tan. Well, we are back from the beach now. I wanted to film more on the beach, but Spain is a little bit hard to film on the beach because most women don't wear a top uh, in Spain on the beaches. So when we got down and I sat down, I was like, oh, I took my like camera out and I was ready to like record the little beach we were on. I thought it was like super cute, but doing a week in my life video. So I had to take out the camera and I literally took it out and like panned it. It was like, uh, 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 and like couldn't go in any direction without getting someone's little thingies in them. And I obviously don't want that. And that is not the way to get monetized on YouTube. That's quite the opposite. So I couldn't really film too much on the beach, but we were honestly only there for maybe like three hours. The sun in Barcelona, in Spain in general, is just very intense and we were sweating. And so after a bit, like we went in the water, we chilled and then we were just so hot and so we wanted to go home because I didn't want to be too dead tonight. And then got home, chilled. And now Harry has left for the next like week. He's in Ibiza. So I was sitting home and I was like, you know what? I think I want to make cookies. So I realized I have all the ingredients in my house. So now I'm gonna make a little small batch of chocolate chip cookies. I got a bottle of rosé and I think I'm gonna be putting my ass on the couch <laughs> tonight and just editing and chilling and watch a little Netflix, but actually Amazon Prime video because I am currently watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. I've never seen it before. I saw someone on TikTok watching it and I was like, eh, I think like I've watched everything on Netflix. So watching that now just started on like episode number two or three, I think, but it is definitely chocolate chip cookie time. So I forgot to film like me actually putting the ingredients in the bowl, but chocolate chip cookies are quite easy to make. So it was literally just the ingredients I had in my house from just cooking. And now it's slowly getting to a little batch of dough and I'm excited. So a lot of my cooking that I actually do comes from TikTok. So I'm gonna make sure that I got all the ingredients in. Butter, sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, egg, flour, baking soda, little bit of salt, and the chocolate chips. All right, fun part. I'm not a big salt on my cookie person, but 
we'll put some in there. And then where are my chocolate chips? Of you babies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now I need to put them on a baking tray. Brown sugar isn't the same brown sugar that we have. It's like quite, I don't know if you can see. It's like quite big. It's not like actual powdered sugar. But when I was going to like just try the cookie dough there, when I chewed, I like chewed some of these little sugar, sugar pieces. I tried to make freaking chocolate chip cookies the other week with Harry. I was so excited. Guess what happened? I didn't realize that I had to use like a certain type of butter and we had like spreadable butter in our in our fridge and probably someone's gonna laugh at me for this, but I put spread butter into the cookie mix and it tasted like absolute dog shit. So this time I'm hoping even with these like really large sugar chunks, hopefully it tastes delicious because it's really all I want is a freaking warm oven baked chocolate chip cookie. Update the cookies are looking fresh, looking good, just a few more minutes. Okay, so cookies are done. I don't know what it is, like I can't get them to turn like that brown like golden -y kind of, I don't know if it's golden, just like darker color of a cookie. They're always like this white looking cookie and I don't know if it's like a different, I don't know if it's the like ingredients are a bit different. I don't really know. It looks, I mean, it looks good. Let's taste her. Mm. They're good. But they're not as good as the ones that I make in America. I'm not sure why, the exact same ingredients, but it'll definitely do for tonight. Good morning! Well, today is Sunday and I got up today, had a little bit of a lie-in, but got up, had some breakfast, sat out my balcony and read for a little bit. It's funny because obviously I planned on doing like a week in my life in Barcelona and when I first did it, I was like, oh, this week is perfect. There's so much going on, which obviously is really great. However, I also realized like towards the end of the week, I was like, I'm not really doing a lot. Like, is this a good time to film? Should I be filming this week? And then I thought about it and realized this is my like average day in life in Barcelona. Like I'm not doing something every single day. I also work obviously. And this Sunday I actually wanted to spend it and be really productive. So obviously like I said this morning I woke up and I read, I've been reading Atomic Habits. I started this a couple months ago, but I ended up getting another book in the mail and then I wanted to read that one. And then I wanted to read the second one. And then I was like, oh God, I need to actually finish Atomic Habits because I've heard such good things about it. But I read that this morning and then the rest of the afternoon, I'm honestly gonna be doing content creation, batch editing, and some YouTube stuff. I know people always say, use your weekends wisely. And I think in the summertime, it's especially hard to kind of like stay in and be productive and do these types of things when you wanna like be at the beach or be with your friends drinking or doing all these different things. And for me right now, content is really important and it's really something I wanna focus on. I'm only 270 subscribers at this moment away from being monetized on YouTube. And to me, like that is my number one goal. And so I wanna spend this Sunday just kind of working towards that as much as I can. And especially since the second half of the year, like I have really big goals. Another one is TikTok and I wanna show some things I've done in Barcelona and kind of just share a bit of my life. I wanna kind of make my accounts really honest and real. And I think that sharing the day-to-day -day, like boringness is also the reality. And so I could show you a crazy wild week of adventures but if my next week i'm not doing anything because i did everything that week just for youtube to film then it's not really a week of my life so i want to kind of be as transparent as possible and share a bit of what my average life is like as a digital nomad and honestly i would say about 70 percent of it is working like i don't film too much of myself working i do every once in a while but 70% of everything that's on social media behind it is all working for my clients or working for myself. And then that other 30% is like the fun parts that actually go on social media. And I was thinking about this the other day being like, that is wonderful, but on my YouTube, I want to be a bit more real and raw and just authentic for you guys. But I've been thinking today of a whole list 
of videos that I want to do for YouTube. So I am really, really excited, but gonna make some lunch later. I'm thinking some honey mustard chicken wraps. Um, I have some cookies left over from last night. You saw the saga, they didn't come out that great. They're like cakey, more, they're more cakey than doughy. And they just didn't turn that like goldeny, like nice color on top. And I was kind of sad about it. But gonna make some lunch and then gonna edit a crap ton of YouTube. And then maybe I'll even film myself, filming myself making content just to show a little behind the scenes. But just gonna have a nice chill Sunday. But yeah, ready for a nice relaxing Sunday. So lunch. I made myself some wraps. We did a spicy mayo chicken wrap with some less onions, and then I did a honey mustard chicken wrap. A little bit of chips. I don't know why. I literally love to sit on my carpet. It's like so, I'll show you. It's like nice and like a high pile one, and it's soft. And so I honestly just love to sit on my carpet with my table and then just have a little TV during lunchtime, even though like literally my dining room table and chairs is right there and they're comfy too, but I just love my little setup here. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my relaxing Sunday as well as my whole week in the life in Barcelona. I wanna do these like once a month just to kind of show like what my life is like. I also wanna do a full day in the life and kind of film everything, but I am really excited for this channel. I'm really excited to just share a bit of my life as an American living abroad, especially living in Spain and kind of give some more insights. Maybe inspire some people to either go off this life, move abroad, move to a different city, whatever it might be. But I don't know, I feel really good about these next six months of the year and I really wanna put my all into this and I can't begin to explain to you guys like when I get the comments on the YouTube videos, when I get the DMs on Instagram, even sometimes you guys email me, like I enjoy speaking to you guys so much and I really, it means the world to me that you love the stuff I'm putting out there. So I just wanna say thank you for that. And if you like this channel and if you like these videos and you're not yet a part of this amazing community that I adore so much, please hit the subscribe button below and come join and be ready for an entire like next six months full of really cool content. I have some cool stuff coming up and I think I might be planning some sick trips in Europe to different places I haven't been before. Maybe a bit off mainstream, so I am really looking forward to it. Like I said, if you're enjoying it, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, send me a DM, whatever it is, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.